Have you ever wondered how the journey of Pope Francis born as Jorge Mario Bergoglio began? Allow me to take you back to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where his story unfolds. Born to Italian immigrant parents, Jorge was raised in a humble and hardworking environment that instilled in him values of humility and service. His early education was marked by both intellectual curiosity and health struggles, the latter leading to the removal of one of his lungs. Before his divine calling, Jorge initially delved into the path of chemistry. However, the pull to serve was stronger and he found his true calling in priesthood. His journey within the Jesuit order was a testament to his dedication and perseverance. From being a novice master and theology teacher to rising as the provincial superior and eventually a cardinal, Jorge Mario Bergoglio's early years were filled with learning and growth. This humble beginning laid a strong foundation for what was to come. How did Jorge Mario Bergoglio become Pope Francis, the first non-European pope in more than a millennium? This journey is a fascinating one, marked by the turbulent times of Argentina's dirty war. During this period, Bergoglio's role was a point of controversy, with critics accusing him of not doing enough to protect the church's victims. Later, he was appointed as cardinal by Pope John Paul II, a position that propelled him into the global spotlight. Yet, it was the 2005 conclave that truly marked his ascent. Though not elected, Bergoglio was a front-runner, his reputation for humility and reform resonating with many. Fast forward to 2013, and the conclave was once again in session. This time the choice was clear. Bergoglio emerged as the new pope, choosing the name Francis to honor St. Francis of Assisi, a symbol of poverty and humility. And thus, Pope Francis, a symbol of humility and reform came into being. What mark has Pope Francis left on the Catholic Church since his election in 2013? One might say he has left an indelible imprint of mercy, humility, and outreach. Emphasizing the Christian call to serve the least of these, the Pope has consistently prioritized the needs of the poor and marginalized, echoing the teachings of Jesus himself. Pope Francis has also taken significant strides in fostering interfaith dialogue, recognizing the common threads of compassion and love that weave through all religious traditions. He's been a vocal advocate for our environment, urging us to safeguard our planet, our shared home. Within the church, he has spearheaded important reforms, addressing long-standing issues head-on. He has played a key role in improving the church's handling of sexual abuse cases, demonstrating a commitment to justice and transparency. In a world often divided, Pope Francis continues to serve as a bridge, guiding the Catholic Church towards a future of hope and healing.